So I believe this is an eight millimeter uh, left hand thread shaft, um, but I'm gonna be using this little adapter and a hollow in there with a couple set screws. And we'll just put a little drop of Loctite on stuff. Okay, so with that secure, um, I can go ahead and hook up the coupler that comes with the swamp run. But I've got a little flat spot on this shaft and uh, right about there. That'll try and line up with these set screws and hopefully that's enough to, to hold it. So now I have the swamp runner coupler hooked up to this 36 volt motor and I can go ahead and hook it up to the shaft. So I think these were six by 20 millimeter bolts. Um, I, the thread pitch was like one on them, I believe. And so that should just let me connect straight up through here into those threaded holes on that. Go ahead and just get this connected. Okay, well, I can't really tell if that's actually coupled in there, but um, I'll go ahead and get this hooked up and just give it a quick test. So for the electrical portion of this, I've got a 40 volt um, lawn battery. This comes with the lawn mower. Got a little 3D printed adapter that I just purchased on Amazon to uh, connect up to the battery. The motor comes with this controller, and then I've got a um, throttle switch to control the speed. So to hook this up, I'll take the motor red to blue and I'll take black to yellow. And then we have our power supply, which will just be black to black and red to red. And then we'll hook up this throttle, which I believe if I remember right, the colors luckily just matched. Everything is hooked up. Should be good to put this on. And then got our thumb throttle. Oh yeah. Excuse the mess, I'm just working in the garage. But uh, flip the camera around and got sure the thumb throttle, which don't have a voltage readout because I don't have um, the blue and yellow hooked up to that blue and pink wire there. But um, so the kill switch is not functional, but just as a test, we'll see. See here. Just a quick overview of the setup here. I've got a New Canoe F10 kayak. Uh, works out great for this because it's got a uh, square back, perfect for mounting up a mud motor, trolling motor, anything like that. Um, and then I've got a Swamp Runner mud motor kit. This is the mini kit. Um, it's designed to work with any like 5 8 shaft um, gas motor. I've used the gas motor in the past on various kayaks and the thing is it's just a lot of weight and a lot of power for such a small kayak and this doesn't have a planing hole so at a certain point you just start to plow more water without really any added speed but that heavier motor does add a lot of extra uh, weight for transportation and it adds a lot of weight for a lot of stress on the back of the the transom here or whatever kayak you're mounting it. Uh, in the past I had used a, a pintail and I started to see some fatigue on the fiberglass hole over time using those uh, mud motors. So I wanted to go with uh, something that was a little lighter weight um, and it's not going to have quite the same power that the, the two horse uh, Predator engine is going to have but again I don't really need that power. So I decided to go with uh, an electric setup. This is a 36 volt uh, roughly 2700 rpm motor. My, my plan with this, this is just the initial setup just to test to see how much power this motor has. Um, my long-term goal would be to design a little bit different shaft. I don't need this big old bulky long tail shaft 
Um, I could get away with something way lighter, um, preferably out of aluminum. So if this works, that's kind of my long-term plan or goal is to, to kind of redesign this whole system and get it set up a little bit better. But for today, I just wanted to come out here, get a quick test in, um, and so let's get to it. So the benefit of having this nice uh, wooden board strapped to that is it made a uh, 10 second handle. The downside is I totally forgot about it clearing that uh, drain plug hole and I just snapped it off. So we're off to a great start. I've just discovered that the uh, motor is running backwards. But it seems to be working out pretty sweet. I might uh, try and beach this and swap the motor direction real quick. Well, I got those motor cables swapped. Um, we're gonna give it another test run. It's not working out so great to film and try and run this at the same time. So I'm just gonna set my phone on the bank somewhere and we'll see if we can't uh, get a quick video of this without dropping my phone in the water. Okay, so it did not like going full throttle. I might have pulled the voltage too low on the motor and cut out. So one problem with this setup is as I get going faster, water likes to come in that back hole there, um, which is not great with all my open wires. But uh, after about 10 minutes of runtime, this is just has a, a little hint of being warm. So does, so does the motor, um, batteries, cool. Overall, I was pretty pleased with those test results. Um, even just at about half throttle, I was able to get um, maybe paddling speed out of it. And after about 10 minutes, the battery was still at uh, four bars, which is the max um, just on that indicator. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and proceed and uh, buy the components I need to, to make my own shaft. And so that'll be the next step of this project is just uh, putting together a smaller, lighter weight shaft to really cut the weight down and really start to see some of the benefits of going with this electric setup. So that's it for this video, but hopefully um, in the next month or so, I'll have some more um, information to share.